Who are you? Where am I? Oi, I'm home. But who are you? I see you got a lot of gear. Would be a shame if someone were to take it. No, 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 no. Anything but the gear, anything but the gear. Please, Just take, take anything. T take my bachelor's degree. <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? You're not even doing anything with it. Too shy. But please, please, don't do anything to the gear. Take me instead, shut up! We're here for the gear. But I'm not an unreasonable man. I know that to someone like you, gear is everything. So I'm gonna leave you with one lens. You simply have to choose. 35, 35, I, I choose the 35. <laughs> wow, okay, that was quick. Not even gonna think about it. Sorry, gotta take this. What? Wrong gab? The nature one? I already tied this guy up and set up the lights for a moody look and everything. Are you kidding me? Fine, 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 fine. Fine. There seems to have been a misunderstanding. You can keep your gear. See ya. Wait! You can't just leave me tied up like this. <laughs> yes, I can. I love you all equally. <laughs>what is up guys in today's video i'm going to share with you the reasons why i think your next lens should be a 35 millimeter prime ever since i got my 35 millimeter i've enjoyed shooting almost everything on it and it's really made photography and videography so much more fun for me speaking of the 35 millimeter primes i just realized that i've owned the new well i guess not so new Nikkor z 35 millimeter 1.8 s for a bit over a year now so i'll sprinkle in some of my thoughts about this lens in this video so yeah, without further ado, let's get into five reasons why I think your next lens should be a 35 millimeter prime. When I first moved into the Nikon Z mirrorless system, the first lens that I invested in was this one, the Nikkor Z 35 millimeter 1.8 S. Now, if you guys know me, you'll know that my favorite portrait lens is the 50 millimeter, but this time I went with the 35 millimeter first. The reason I did this is because I wanted to start out with something that could do almost everything I needed from both a stills and a video standpoint. I'll be the first to admit, 35 millimeter isn't the perfect focal length for everything, but it sure is pretty good at most things. A 35 millimeter lens is nice for portraits because it has a great mix of subject isolation through the fast aperture at 1.8 and background context. It can isolate subjects and lead the viewer's focus in, but it doesn't completely decimate the background into oblivion like you'd have on an 85 millimeter or a 105 millimeter. The background is still distinguishable and helps give context to portraits. And giving context is great for storytelling through your photos. I also love using the 35 mil for events. Going back to the idea of context, what I love about this focal length is that you can focus on things happening to subjects while still placing them in a location or setting. 35 millimeters is also great for events because you can get tighter shots just by moving closer and you can get wider shots by stepping back a bit. It's not like a 50 mil where you will definitely struggle trying to get a nice group shot of people. The 35 millimeter gives you enough wideness for group shots and tightness for details, which makes it an amazing event coverage lens. I'm not the best landscape photographer or a landscape photographer in general, but I can definitely see how a 35 millimeter could be used for landscapes. Sure, it's not as wide as a 24 or even a 20 mil, but it's not as tight as a 50 and can still show the wideness of a landscape. Honestly, I'd prefer something wider, but if a 35 mil is all you have, you could get the job done. Whenever I go out with friends and family and I bring my Nikon Z6, it's always a 35 mil that I choose to pair it with. It's light and compact and gives me great results for capturing almost everything that goes on around me. I've bought it to the beach with friends and I got great photos from that trip. It helps me give the whole vibe of a place with wide shots while being great for nice portraits of my friends. I also like taking it with me when I explore new cities. It's small and light enough not to draw attention and it's fast aperture at 1.8 gives me enough light to freeze scenes at night. The reason why this lens is so versatile is because of its sweet spot in terms of distortion and subject isolation. 
Compared to a 24 or a 20, if your subject is at the edges of a frame, you'll get some weird distortion. But if you go up to 50, it gets a little too tight. The 35 is the Goldilocks when it comes to balancing wideness and subject isolation. You can still have a subject off to one side and still have them look as they would in real life. And if you want a tighter crop, getting closer to your subject gives great separation from the background. I feel like the perspective you get out of a 35 mil is the most natural looking and closest to reality, which makes it a great lens for capturing just about everything. One of the main considerations I had when choosing the 35mm 1.8 as my first Z lens was that I knew it would be a great lens for video. I've used this lens in almost every video I've posted in the past year. I could go on and on talking about all the videos that I've used my 35mm on, but then I'd have to talk about all my videos, so yeah. It's my favorite lens to use for my A-roll shots or talking headshots, just like this, because it shows enough background and at the same time it isolates me from the background so well. Most of my b-roll shots are also done on this lens. It's the perfect focal length for POV hand shots of a product and wide enough that even when handheld, the shake isn't so noticeable. And fun fact, all the shots in this video were filmed at 35 millimeters. So yeah, basically it's super useful for videos. If I had to make a video and could only pick one lens, it would be the 35 millimeter. Another thing I love about 35mm primes is that they're usually small and light. This 35mm 1.8s doesn't look so small because of its length, but trust me, it's really light. To be exact, it comes in at 370 grams, which is 70 grams more than 300 grams, because that's how math works. Because it's so light, it's not at all a hassle to carry around and doesn't want to make me put my camera away. Another bonus is that it doesn't give me back pain after carrying it around all day which should be like a uh, criteria for camera now, like a spec, like, does it give you back pain after a whole day? Yes or no? Like I would totally decide on lenses because of that. It's a nice little lens that's easily one-handable and fits in almost any bag. It's great to take on walks around at night markets and beaches, or even just a nice camera to bring when having lunch with a friend. It's not too obtrusive and isn't too attention grabbing, unless of course you put on the hood, then I guess you're just asking to be robbed. I kid. Put on the hood, people. Protect that front element. But yeah, even with a hood, it's very manageable and I love taking this lens out on walks and exploring cities with it. <laughs> Lastly, it's a no-brainer lens. What I mean by this is when I'm out on a shoot or traveling and I look at all my lenses trying to decide what to bring, the 35mm is always the lens I grab because it can do almost anything that I throw at it. It's a lens that I choose when I can't bring my 24 to 70 and my 50mm or my 70 to 200. It's a no brainer because when I can only bring one lens, two, I don't even have to think about it. This lens is the lens I grab for all the reasons I've previously stated. So yeah, those are the five reasons why you should make your next lens a 35mm prime. What's great is that there's definitely a 35mm for every budget. There's some that go for as low as $200 and some for close to a thousand and even past that. No matter what your budget or experience is, there's a 35 millimeter for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, you know the buttons to press down below. Okay, but yeah, anyway, see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Sorry. Would be a shame if. What the? F why does I? Why do I go there? Why do I go there instantly? <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Would be a shame if someone wants to take it. <laughs> Take my take my bachelor's degree. <laughs> Why did I lie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> Vladimir's degree. <laughs> Vladimir's degree. <laughs> Touche. But please, please, please don't do anything to the gear. Take me instead. <sighs> Can you fix it, please? <laughs>
Thank, oh, thank you, kind Robert. <laughs> Touche. But please, don't do anything to the gear. Take me instead. Oh, 